Hello, Sagittarius. This is Milady from Milady's Wing Tarot. Now coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 9th through the 16th, 2017. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to um, use, read the hook straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for a like, share, and subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you would like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Sagittarius? I feel like this one's supposed to come out. So it's something or somebody is in and out of your life, okay? It could be a job or it could be um, just a love partner. All right. All right. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? A little building. October 9th through the 16th, 2017. All right. So you may be dealing with somebody that um, maybe be putting you down because they make more than you or you're dealing with somebody that you make more than, Okay. Or this could be a work situation, but let's see. All right, what's going on with the Sagittarius? All right. So, this still could be love or work, but it seems like somebody's treating you like they don't want you. And they're trying to make you feel like that you're less um, than what you're worth. It seems like you make more or you do more than they do, but they're trying to make it seem like you're not or you don't. Cut it down. Stop it. Sorry. Okay, so it seems like this person may have um Okay, this is a general reading, so it can go both ways, but it seems like First, they were um, treating you like they didn't want you, and then they let you go. But this could be a job. This could be work also still, even though it's a love reading. Or it could have been happening at work. Maybe somebody must might have been dealing with their boss or something, or you are somebody boss, and you didn't want to deal with somebody anymore. So you um, first you start stiff-arming them or treating them like you didn't really want to be around them, and then you just... Let him go. All right. Ooh. Okay. So it seems like I don't know. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. I mean, or an Earth sign or a Fire sign. But then I'm feeling like. Uh, I'm feeling like you care about this relationship and that's why you are still trying to follow this person even though they let you go. I'm really feeling like this is work here. All right. Ooh. So it seems like you're trying to manipulate this person also to, um, sorry, possibly get back with them. Yeah, but they, they, they're not coming back. They let go and it's a wrap. They're done. Like, even though there's manipulation, I feel like in some cases, uh, some of you may even be telling them that you're pregnant just to try to manipulate them so they won't go, but they made their mind up. They already made their mind up. They leaving. Okay. Ugh. Okay, they leaving just because they're not attracted to you sexually anymore. Um, I'm... Hearing that they was just using you for sex, but you wanted more and it wasn't, they didn't want that. But this is general. It could go both ways. You could have been treating somebody else like that. All right, what's going on? There we go again. Somebody uh, not expressing their love or just not loving, you know, not communicating their love because it's not there. And it's a workplace situation. So, yeah, I think this is um, the work boss. I mean, Boston worker situation again. All right, what's going on with the Sagittarius? Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Love reading for my 
October 9th through the 16th, 2017. October 9th through the 16th, 2017. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. All right, guys. Oh. All right. All right, what's going on with the Sagittarius? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. So it seems like somebody... Uh, I'm feeling like somebody might be... Maybe you might be stalking your boss. All right, we're going to read these straight out of the book. Okay. The magician using everything you have to get what you want. All right. So we got the king of what is this? Swords, king of swords, king of swords, king of swords, king of swords. All right. Yep, that's the king of swords. All right. Oh, it says, uh, decisive action will occur quickly. Use any position of authority and act with justice. Do not let personal desire take the place of fairness. Okay. Yeah, this is sort of, I mean, this, I guess that is for the per, who the people, the bosses, you know, who are dealing with the workers. Like, really, you're going to fire them because you don't want to be with them anymore? I feel like just like... Do the right thing or you're going to get caught, you know? All right, so we have the Page of Swords reversed. Page of Swords. You got a lot of messages coming in. Okay, so uh, sometimes indicates a diligent person who watches the actions or trying to find out actions of someone else, especially regarding love. Okay, so I feel like this is the boss. This is the person who they getting ready to fire or fired. And this person was like stalking the boss, trying to figure out like, why did you leave me? What's going on? I feel like I keep hearing husband or wife. So somebody might be married or they could possibly have a baby on the way. No. I'm feeling like they got a whole family that they, you know, hiding from you. All right. So we got the page of staffs. Staff, staff, staffs, page. All right. All right, it says tunnel vision. Seek after the material. Workaholic, sometimes sarcastic. All right, so. Mmm. So, I think this could be both of you guys, but I feel like it's more so the boss, and I feel like that's one of the reasons other than this not being attracted to you anymore, but I feel like it got something to do with you not doing your work like you were before all this crazy stuff happening. I think uh, some of the work ethic that you had was uh, in turning him or her on, but then when you start like doing less work because you like I'm dating the boss then that's when they like nah you gotta go all right so we got the seven of swords you got a lot of swords you could be dealing with a uh air sign Aquarius Libra Gemini but general reading it could be anybody we got the magician here anyway that's everything you can ever imagine all right so we got the seven of swords reversed and it says result product of your labor and wisdom and outside support so it's like you kind of knew this was a bad decision messing with your boss but you did it anyway and you have people on the outside like, you should do it. You should do it. You know, you won't have to do this. But in reality, 
You do. It's like when you're dating somebody and, and they your boss or your quote, quote, friend, whatever. It's like you want to do more to make them feel like, oh, yeah, I got this person and they're working real hard for me. Not doing less. That makes it seem like you don't care for them. You know, that lets them know that you're manipulating them and you're using them. So they're like, no, you know. All right. So we got the magician. It says a person of power with a great deal of creativity and determination who will follow through with actions. An intelligent person. Now is the time to create with what you want. Success, opportunities, good times for education. Take control of your life and speak your mind. So that can be for both ways. Like even though you, whew, I feel like whoever quit, I mean, got fired. Whoever got fired or pushed out is going to tell on the boss. It's like basically both of y'all might as well get it out now because this is about to be a tornado. But that's all I have for you guys. Um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful week.